When you first go into bed, clearly that's when you're most vulnerable to getting out very early on because you haven't got the, judge the pace of the, the ball, the bounce of the wicket, uh, what the bowler's doing. Maybe you've seen on TV because you've got uh, a TV in the, in the dressing room and you're lucky enough to be playing at that level. But most of the time, uh, we haven't been out there. We don't know what's going on. We've got maybe an idea. Before, the, before you go out to bat, if you're not opening the batting, have a look and see how much bounce the bowlers are getting on that pitch. So you've got an idea. If the bowler's short ball, is it coming past head high? Is it coming past weight, waist high? What are you expecting on that basis? But then when you go out there, go out and say, right, I want the ball bowled straight at me here. So I'm getting into line and I'm getting the ball bowled straight at me here like this. You're in the best position to defend. Don't go and defend out there. Defend right behind the ball here. And on that basis, you then pick up the pace and the bounce on the wicket. If they're bowling a half volley, that's fine. Play the half volley, even if you block it. It doesn't matter if you don't get a fall for it or you don't get a run for it. Because if you later on they're bowling plenty of half volleys and if you're still there, you will hit those for four. So just be patient as to what's going on. Have a look and see what they're doing. And that also applies when a new bowler comes on to bowl. Have a look and see what he's doing. It doesn't matter whether you've got a hundred. Have a look and see what he's doing because he can come out and suddenly bowl at a different pace or whatever. Now he picks your wicket up because you've been careless and you haven't been patient with him. Just take your time. There's a lot of time to bet out there.